Hey guys, in this week's Luthier's Quick Tips, I'm gonna answer a question from a viewer which I think some of you will find interesting, especially those of you who are either using a CNC machine to make your guitars or are thinking about taking the CNC plunge. The question is, this machine that I designed and built myself, is it faster than the Inventables X-Carve, which I used to use in my shop? And the short answer to that is no. However, this machine has the capability of being significantly faster. Speed, however, wasn't the primary reason why I designed and built this machine. What I was interested in was a machine that I could simply plug into my computer and start carving without having to do any sort of uh, prep work leading up to actually using the machine. Let me explain. With the X-Carve, it is designed using V wheels as the linear motion and to drive it relies on uh, belts. Uh, this is a decent way to run a CNC machine as long as you're not uh, expecting to push it deep into wood or softer metals. In, in the case of carving like a guitar body or a guitar neck where you're gonna be moving the machine fairly quickly and carving deep into the to the material you really need to have a uh, bearing system and a drive system which is more robust and what i found was the case with the inventables x carve was that in order to make that kind of deep aggressive cuts into wood i had to make sure that those belts and v wheels were properly adjusted before I would run the machine. And this is something I would have to do prior to every major cutting operation. And to save time, I really wanted to have a machine where I wouldn't have to do that. So eventually I got to a point where I had, after about three to four years, I had really worn out my X-Carve. And I had an opportunity to use one of the newer generation X-Carves and I found that it had some improvements that I really wanted to make on my old X-Carve. So I started looking at the uh, possibility of upgrading my X-Carve and making some general maintenance improvements. However, when I started to total up the cost, it became apparent to me that I could actually just design and build a new machine. So I decided to do that mainly because I'm a maker. I like to build things. I like to design them. I like to build them. And I, I love the feeling of plugging it in and seeing it actually work. And that's one of the reasons why I build guitars. Well, to build the CNC machine, I decided I was going to design a machine that wouldn't require so much maintenance to operate it on a regular basis. And what I came up with is the machine you see here. And of course, I offer plans for this machine on my eGuitar Plans website. So back to the original question, will this machine run faster than that original X-Carve? It has the capability, but there is one factor which governs the speed of any CNC machine, and that is the spindle. The spindle that I'm using on this machine is the same spindle I used on my X-Carve. It's a DeWalt D611 uh, trim router. And this trim router is rated at about one and a quarter horsepower, which I think is somewhere around 800 watts. That kind of speed and power does not allow you to cut deep and rapidly through significant material such as you know the hardwoods that we use in guitar building. I can cut, as an example, with a quarter inch two flute spiral upcut bit, I can move this router pretty reliably at about 100 inches per minute. That's pretty decent. And I will say that that's probably slightly faster than what I could get with my X-Carve. With the X-Carve, I probably wouldn't want to push it faster than 80 inches per minute. Going faster than that runs the risk of missed steps. And as soon as you miss steps, your software doesn't know where the machine is located anymore and it can ruin the cut almost immediately. So 
you end up having to push the emergency stop button and starting over at a slower speed. Well, if I wanted this machine to run faster, all I would have to do is replace this spindle, this router, with a much faster spindle. And what I would probably look at is something in the area of 1.5 to 2.2 kilowatts. And I could go either air-cooled or water-cooled depending on you know, whatever uh, was available to me. But those spindles, the 1.5 kilowatt is rough, is slightly over two horsepower, I, I believe. And the 2.2 kilowatt is roughly around three horsepower. Now, theoretically, I could go as high as five horsepower, perhaps even more. But uh, I think with this con uh, current design, if I wanted to go with something above three horsepower, I'd have to redesign the whole uh, Z-axis uh, spindle mount to accommodate a router or spindle of that size. So really what it comes down to is to run a CNC machine faster requires greater rigidity in the structure. It requires uh, a linear bearing system that's more robust and a drive mechanism which is capable of moving the spindle at those kind of speeds. And then of course you need the right kind of stepper motors that will be capable of driving the machine at those speeds. Now all of this requires that you do some math to figure out or to engineer the right solution. And when I was designing and building this machine, I kept hearing people say things like, I would rather over-engineer my CNC machine rather than under-engineer it. And I've always felt from an engineering standpoint, that is a total cop-out. Why not engineer it to what you're actually gonna use it for? Be more precise in your engineering because when you do that, you will save yourself a lot of money. And furthermore, when you're just throwing components at a design, what you end up with are components that may be far more capable than other components. So you end up with really what comes down to as a poorly designed machine. And if you want to stretch your dollar as far as it can when you're building your machine, you'll find that by doing the math and engineering the machine correctly, you can save yourself a lot of money and end up with an even better performing machine. People still ask me if I recommend the Inventables X-Carve. And when I talk about the X-Carve, there's a couple of different models that are available. And I'm referring to their basic model and uh, not the uh, X-Carve Pro. Although I may be talking about the X-Carve Pro in a future video, we'll see. At any rate, when it comes to using the Inventables X-Carve, I think it's a great machine to incorporate into your workflow as long as you're going to be using it within its limitations. If you're going to be trying to make, you know, say a dozen guitar bodies in a day or, you know, eight to ten guitar necks in a day, the X-Carve, the basic model, is probably not going to be suited for that because you simply can't push it at that speed level necessary to accommodate that level of production. Instead, what I would recommend is that you use the X car for a much lower production rate. You know, let's say you're building three or four guitars a month. X car would be perfect for that. Or let's say you're gonna be doing, uh, you need a machine just to cut fret slots and maybe do some uh, inlay work. That's, the X-Carve will be a perfect option for that. But if you're looking for, for uh, much greater rigidity, far higher speeds, you would want to take a look at the X-Carve Pro. Now, some of you probably have already done that and are faced with a little bit of sticker shock. Again, that's a, that is a uh, pro-level production assembly line type machine. If you're not really up to that level yet, this e-guitar plan CNC machine is probably going to be your best option in terms of price and performance. 
Now, as I said, this machine runs about the same speed as the uh, Inventables X car of the basic model. But if you want something or need something that's going to run a lot faster, all you need to do is go with a different kind of, of router or spindle, something with a little bit more power, and you'll be able to just plow through wood, like cutting through hot, uh, through butter with a hot knife. So uh, that's something that you should consider. You know, it's sort of like. The X-Carve basic model would be your entry level into CNC where you're just using it for a few steps in your production process. This machine will do it all and has the potential to do it faster for production level speeds. And then the X-Carve Pro is something that you would use if you're just going gung-ho and manufacturing a lot of guitars. So uh, hopefully this video will answer some of those questions that some of you might have with regard to how speeds with a machine like this are um, an important factor in production and what it takes to achieve the speeds and what this particular machine is capable of as opposed to the basic X-Carve. And um, as always, if you enjoy videos on guitar building, uh, especially if it's guitar building with a CNC machine, click that subscribe button if you're not already a subscriber. Give me a thumbs up for sure, that always helps. And to show some support for what I'm doing here, head over to eGuitar Plans and purchase either a plan for a guitar or one of the different tools that I use, including the CNC machine. And even if you don't build them, you're showing support for what I do on this channel, and that's a, that's a, a good thing. So until the next episode, take care, stay safe, wear your mask if necessary, and I'll see you soon. Mm -hmm.